Next up, we have the Totally Wild category, and this one is always a fan favorite. This is where you take models like Hawk's Weirdos, or the Ed Roth Big Daddy kits, or even things like the Godzilla Go-Kart and whatnot, and you build them up and enter them in this one. This is where all that crazy stuff happens. So this year we have two contestants. Now originally one of the contestants entered in Diorama, but I decided to move him up. So now let's take a look at these great models and see what they look like. This is the Rat Fink Eliminator. Mark says, I added extra hair to the top of the box scale head with sheet styrene. The eye was accurized by sanding the iris flat, drilling out the pupil, and adding a clear dome for the cornea. Body hair was created using Liquitex acrylic fibers texture gel. Hot glue drool was augmented with painted cotton smoke to suggest that this fink eats the cars. The pants legs were opened up and lower legs added to the feet. Smashed Hot Wheel cars were added to the custom base. And this is Godzilla vs. Kong from Polar Lights. Paul says, I improved my Godzilla go-kart by glossing the helmet, painting skin highlights, repainting the parachute pack, and placing the steering wheel under the paws instead of in front of them. This I added to a new King Kong Thronester and a scratch-built racetrack diorama base. So there you have the model kits built by Paul and Salmos as well as Mark McGovern. So Floyd, let's get the envelope and see how these guys placed. And here we have the envelope once again, so let's open it up and take a look. So, coming in silver, we have Mark McGovern with the Rat Fink Eliminator. And in first place, we have Paul Insalmos with Godzilla vs. Kong in the Great Monster Drag Race. So without further ado, let's check out our next category, which was the one that everybody seemed to want to enter this year, M-O-N-M-H-4, Monster Figure Dioramas. Check it out by clicking on this video right here.